I'm Kimberly Howard and this is your ICT Researcher Spotlight. So what we have here Hundreds of miles away from the nearest fault line, professor and researcher Bill Spencer is studying earthquakes. And what might happen if one hit? Spencer and his students can use drones to help pinpoint damage after the shock waves subside. Vital information when dispatching limited resources with limited time. So that in the end, we've got a complete picture of how the structure would perform. Spencer is a structural engineer with a special interest in sensors. So uh, this golden component is the high sensitivity. It's a specialty he's been studying for more than three decades and one that allows him to help prevent further disaster from more than just earthquakes. For winds, for tall buildings, for uh, low-rise structures, for bridges. Like the Jindo Bridge in South Korea. Uh, we installed over 600 sensors on this cable stayed bridge. It was the first long-term deployment of wireless sensors and constitutes the world's largest deployment of of wireless sensors in the world to monitor civil infrastructure. Spencer's sensors on that bridge soon paved the way to yet another project in Dubai. 250 meters in diameter. It has 192 cables going uh, around the circumference. What soon will be the largest Ferris wheel in the world. Spencer and his team will have a big responsibility. To ensure safe and efficient operation. The team can monitor the Ferris wheel using wireless sensors. This has a range of approximately two kilometers line of sight. His wireless sensors can also help monitor railroad bridges, like this one in Champaign, a common site of stuck trucks. We implemented a special wake-up sensor that has a moving window that allows capture of the vibration signal even before the event occurs. And so it's important that the railroads know when those events occur so that they can make an assessment of structural integrity and, and quickly send their personnel out to the bridge. That was your ICT Researcher Spotlight. I'm Kimberly Howard.